Today we're coming to you from 711 East Lawn Drive, one of the largest estate custom homes built here back in 2002. This incredible house was built by Cahill Builders. They are currently one of the favorite builders of Disney at Golden Oak Community. And this particular home has an unfinished third floor level. It already has six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, over 6,500 square foot of interior space under air conditioning. And it has a third level of unfinished space that would provide another 700 square foot on the third floor. So East Lawn Drive, as I often joke, is our Rodeo Drive, full of custom estate homes. Um, I have personally sold several of these homes in the last 20 years as resales. Uh, this particular house here has um, only ever been on the market once. I've sold it recently and the family um, have decided to put it on the market, um, change their plans to relocate to Florida. But looking to the front, we have a really nice um, set of views of the water views here, small pond. Uh, this house is west facing, so you're going to have the sun setting behind me. You have a nice drive through with an oversized three car garage that goes to the back. You've got a separate side entry there. Uh, people often don't realize how much additional space there is when looking at the front. You then have a separate entrance there and there is a separate stairwell that takes you straight up to this huge fourth bedroom over the garage. The most incredible uh, setting point of East Lawn Drive is the lake in the back. When Disney planned the whole town out, they created a fantastic lake. Uh, it's actually, it was originally a retention pond. Now it's a conservation and you'll see lots of wildlife in the back there with the conservation, the walking trails, the beautiful water views and the lake. We're sitting on about 0.4 of an acre. It's 0.38 on public tax records. And as we approach the house, You've got the brass plaque right at the bottom there. Cahill Custom Homes 2002. It was finished in 2003. And when we come in to the front, we are greeted with marble and wood flooring. Over 6,500 square foot of space under air conditioned. You have a formal living room immediately to the left. This house does come fully furnished. Everything I'm going to show you is included in the price. The rugs, the furnishings, the light fixtures, the artwork, all the different uh, knickknacks that you see around the house, the dining room table, which is expandable. You've got nice high ceilings, at least 10 foot height ceilings. We are in the formal dining room. Leads straight in through to the kitchen. And we come into the kitchen and what a kitchen it is. Incredible chef's kitchen. You do have gas. We don't have natural gas in celebration. Uh, many of the estate homes do have propane with a buried gas tank. We do have high ceilings, 10 foot ceilings, eight foot solid core doors, double ovens, microwave, double dishwasher, security system camera. You do have iron gate area there. This could be a storage room. You could uh, put in a wine room right there. You do have a walk-in pantry, the French door over here, lots of shelving and storage. Double dishwashers, veggie prep sink, Full undermount butler sink, ceramic. You have a tiled backsplash, under cabinet lighting, full size 44 inch solid maple wood cabinets. The house was just professionally cleaned uh, today. This is a GE monogram fridge freezer. breakfast nook and then we come into the living room which is wood flooring there's the front entry that we came from the formal living room this is the family room here nice size tv fireplace 
The ceiling fans are currently off as the photographers are here right now taking pictures for us to be listed on the MLS. This is the half bath, quite a spacious powder room. This is actually wallpaper. Wood floor. This is a nice kind of um, French antique looking vanity and a very nice chandelier at the top there. The fireplace is going to be running on the propane gas. Lots of French doors to the outer pool area that we'll be going to in a minute. I want to show you this immense master or owner's retreat. Huge king-size bed. Lots of natural daylight from the sides of the house to the front of the house. We have the sun uh, setting in the west. You have the tray ceiling with the lights going around the tray area. You have updated um, thermostatic controls. I believe there's about four air conditioning systems in the house. And look at the size of this ensuite. Absolutely incredible. You have a spa tub. Looks like it's never been used. You have dual sink vanities. Solid Italian marble tops. Again, the tray ceilings extend. You do have sound systems throughout the house. You do have a bidet as well as the a toilet in the powder room and of course you have this incredible shower I mean this is immense window you've got a, a curved arch shower there with one two body sprays three shower heads completely tiled Marble tiled on the floors in the bathroom. And this is really nice. Not many houses in celebration have an upstairs and downstairs, a double floored walk-in closet. The amount of uh, hanging space and storage space and shelving in here and drawers. You have the center island, the mirror. And then let's just go up these stairs. And if you really want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the family, this is the spot. Everything conveys with this property, all the furnishings, the desk, and look at these views. What incredible views. The nature trail in the back there is all lit up at night. You can walk to the downtown area. It takes about a good seven to 10 minute walk. There is a bridge that crosses the lake, just a few doors down. Surround sound system in this area as well. Incredible space. Solid core doors, eight foot tall. Close that and you'll hear nothing. What an unbelievable space. One of the largest en suites that I've been to in these estate homes. You have the French doors out to the covered lanai and the pool. But let's finish going around the rest of the downstairs. So we're coming from the kitchen around the corner in this corridor. You do have a linen closet here. Lots of storage spaces, lots of closets, little cubby holes. And this is a very, very nice oversized double bedroom would be great for an elderly resident in the home, visiting family, somebody that wants to avoid going up the stairs. It does have a full ensuite bathroom. Every bathroom has different decor. Really nice wallpapered. This has a nice walk-in size closet 
lots of hanging space, storage space, and of course it has a shower, a very deep sized shower, nicely tiled. Fresh smells from the professional clean today. The whole house has just had a professional move out clean. And then we have a separate stairwell that goes up to the pool room here, as well as your own private entrance. If there was somebody living here, an adult that had the joy of living in this room here, you have French doors to the front, French doors to the side. So you could be quite independent if it was an elderly parent, for example, if you had a maid looking after the family, fantastic place. And around the corner here, as we come out, we have a full-size laundry room, hand washing sink, racks, toffee maple wood cabinets, and then this huge, enormous three bay garage all under one space. Nice high ceilings. These doors are all um, operated over Wi-Fi. You can be out of state and open the doors for other people. You've got all the pool furnishings there that do convey the sun loungers, the chairs, the swivel chairs, an additional fridge freezer conveys with the house, camera in the corner, security system, lots and lots of windows. Uh, most garages in celebration, you'd be lucky if there's one or two windows. Here we have one, two, three, four, five windows. It's never dark in here. And in here you have a nice storage area where the original builder has left copies of uh, different floor tiles, different finishes, edging borders. take a look in that beautiful pool area. Wainscoting around the breakfast nook area, nice touch. Again, all the furnishings included in the price. Surround sound speakers in most ceilings that we go to. This is my favorite area out here. Brick floored lanai, speakers outside. Got an outdoor shower. And look at that view. That is the lake between the fence grills there. That's the walking trail. The park bench in the back there, across the lake. When we come down We do have an outdoor summer kitchen, a grill with a fridge, a heated spa. Crystal clear pool. I'm going to give you a view from the back. All the azaleas here, the owners just put in all new fresh landscaping. So you've got all fresh, newly planted azaleas just literally two weeks ago. Look at the architectural design. It's a completely private courtyarded pool area. Privacy is something that most of the residents down East Lawn really value, not to be looked in by neighbors. So no neighbors to the right, no neighbors to the left. We do have an outside gate. But look at these incredible views. That is just magical. All planned and developed originally by Disney. When we come around the side, you can see all the pool equipment there. The condition of the exterior, obviously it's been repainted since newly constructed, very good, very, very good condition. You do have lights inside the pool. 
and is currently being cleaned weekly. And the company that we recommend and use, Deep Six Pools in Orlando, they take great care of this pool. All the outdoor furnishing is included. Lots of sun loungers, chairs that would go around the pool. All these uh, bug screens can be removed very easily. You do have a pool alarm that's currently deactivated. You come in French doors to the master bedroom, back into the main living room. So now we're gonna go up to the second floor. We are back at the front entrance with the large front door the formal living room to the left, the formal dining room to my right, and very nice open stately staircase, all wood treads. So we've come upstairs now to the second floor. Upstairs we have three uh, good sized bedrooms. Actually we have four good sized bedrooms. The fourth bedroom is actually being used as a pool room. And the most incredible thing of this upstairs uh, the wow factor is this room, this loft room. And we're going to go outside here to the upstairs balcony. This is why you would purchase a home on East Lawn Drive in celebration is for this incredible lake view outside. So we're going to go outside and take a quick look at the water views out the back here. It's a very spacious balcony. You can easily sit 10, 15 people out here. It's about a seven to 10 minute walk to the Celebration downtown area with shops and restaurants from here. There is a bridge that takes you straight across the lake, uh, just two doors down from us. The property, as I said originally, was built in 2003. It has 6,500 square foot just over, but there is something very special about this home. And there is a third floor, uh, which no one has made use of. It's completely finished off in terms of the construction, the roof space, and there's roughly seven, maybe 800 square foot of unused space up there. We're gonna take a look at that as well. We have had general contractors out here to price it out to completely finish with air conditioning, uh, to install a bathroom and uh, flooring, roughly for about $88,000, which is an absolute no brainer. Straight away it would add uh, 200, $250,000 value to this property. So I've just pulled down the trap door in the small kitchen area and here we currently have access to the third floor and the contractors who've come to bid the, pro the price out what they would do is actually remove the the kitchen cabinet there and put a full-size stairwell up here to make it look like it was original and you won't believe how much room there is up here I'm just climbing up the stairs Look at the immense space up here. I would say that's gotta be over 40 foot long. It's all boarded out. There are windows on both sides. So the front and back, huge space, very tall ceilings in here. To finish this off, we're looking at about $88,000, but it's an absolute no brainer. Uh, you can easily tie in the air conditioning here you can see the quality of the roof, which is in great shape inside. The shingles are probably going to need replacing soon. They're going to be about 17, 18 years old since uh, original installation. And so um, the inside here, there is lighting as well. I believe this is the light switch. And now we have full ceiling lighting. This is an absolute must do for immediate equity and appreciation would make a fantastic office. Uh, you could put two bedrooms up here as well as bathrooms. There's enormous potential, lots and lots of different options of what you could do, how you could finish this off, uh, be it more bedrooms, playroom, home office, uh, recording studios. If you um, had a professional living here, use as a, as a professional office up here something I would recommend most people do purchasing this house. Upstairs here in the main open loft, um, it has wood floors 
and a very nice uh, kitchen, a nice bar area upstairs. In the kitchen area, we have a built-in fridge, an undermount sink, a microwave, everything the family needs um, to have drinks and enjoy snacks upstairs. And if we go immediately to my right here, we come into this custom-built uh, home movie theater. It's a 100-inch full-size screen. There's a digital video player. You can watch satellite. It is currently connected to satellite TV. It's connected to a games console. It's connected to a DVR system. So every form of um, playback for movies, live TV, recordings, uh, Apple TV is connected through this system. All the components on the component rack here is included. Everything that you see in this property, remember, is included. It comes fully furnished, other than the three bedrooms upstairs here, which are, um, which are currently empty of furnishings. This 100-inch screen does uh, pull back into the ceiling, and there is actually a window there. So if you wanted to have daylight, you could actually retract the screen back up and have the window open to, have, uh, to use this as a study room, if you wish. It has three... Um, full-size home theater chairs that do fold back. It's got captain chairs in the back there to the back of the room. And let me see if we can capture what it looks like. If I turn the lights off here, everything is under a remote control in this home theater for all the components, the technology, the lighting are on dimmer switches. And you do have a fantastic sound system with a subwoofer huge oversized speakers and the room can be completely closed off to the rest of the house. So a fantastic place for the family to enjoy movies and spend the evenings together. If we come through to what would be the fourth bedroom here, this is probably the largest of the upstairs bedrooms. It is a full on suite. We have lots of uh, deep side, probably about four foot deep, the closet there. Lots of shelving, lots of storage space, a full ensuite suite bathroom where you have a sink, toilet, a shower, and an extremely spacious pool room, very high ceilings. We are currently over the oversized three car garage. And so you can make as much noise as you want up here. If you have quite a crowd or the kids are at home with their friends playing, uh, you wouldn't actually hear it in the main house, which is really nice. If we come to the back of the house, to the back of the pool room, you do have these incredible lake views. The pool table is, of course, included. It comes with the house as well as the game table, the sofas. A lot of these sofas, I believe, are pull-out beds as well for overnight guests. You do have a separate stairwell to the back of the house, so you can come uh, from a separate entrance up a different set of stairs directly to this room. There is lots of loft access behind these doors. You have um, lots of cubby holes. I'd like you to have a quick look in there. Lots of storage areas, which is very unique for Florida homes. Remember, we don't have basements here and storage is always at a premium. Moving across the upstairs, we're gonna now look at the three double bedrooms. The first one here has a full-on suite right outside. You have a separate vanity to a double-sized shower. This room would easily take a king bed, certainly a queen, two doubles or several uh, twin beds if you had a large family. If you um, look in most rooms, you will see a smoke detectors, security system. There are cameras. Very, very large, deep storage closets in all the bedrooms. And these are solid doors. 
ceiling fan. I would say the ceilings here are gonna be, uh, these are eight foot doors, so we have 10 foot ceilings upstairs. So we've looked at the pool room, which is bedroom number one. This is number two, and then we have three and four upstairs over here. Again, lots of linen closets. This is a full on suite, this double bedroom. It has its own double shower, vanity. Good quality carpet. And what's nice here is you do have French doors that take us out onto the rear lake with the views of the conservation, the, the nature trails in the back. And then we have the fourth bedroom upstairs. I would say this is comparable to the second one. It's quite large. You have a nice walk-in closet in this particular bedroom. It is a full-on suite as well. And what's nice about this particular room is I'm just going to show you behind this door is a huge space. See if we can get in here. So this is one of the water heaters upstairs. You have the breaker box. You have access to some of the uh, components for the air conditioning system. I believe there's three or four air conditioning systems here. The house is nice and cool. This is probably not a room that a, photography would, a photographer would come into, but it's a, it's a nice size room. It's probably, I'd say, 15 by 10 foot wide. And you have the custom vanities here. You have a uh, full shower with a separate rain head there. Nice custom tile work. And you have two double windows. And all the windows here are the energy efficient double pane windows. This, um, one thing I forgot to mention actually from the upstairs is you do get some very nice views of the, there's a nice size pond, a small lake right across the front there. So you have water to the front, huge lake to the back. When I say huge, I don't mean immense, but a very nice size to walk around. Gives incredible views. This is East Lawn Drive we're looking at with the water across the street. Really nice stately uh, sized columns out the front as well. There are approximately, to my memory, four air conditioning systems that have been maintained in service regularly in the last 18 years. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching the video, and there we have it, 6,500, just over 6,500 square foot of air conditioned space, six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, home movie theater, and huge potential for the third floor to provide an additional 700 square foot to potentially make this a seven or eight bedroom home with seven bathrooms. If you'd like to see this house, I do strongly feel it will sell quickly. We're going to be priced at $2.989 million, $2,989,000, and currently vacant for immediate occupancy.